All right, what? God damn it. <laughs> Ignore that. So, um, this is the second and last part. The, uh, pr the previous part was just getting through, because let me just actually rock this through a little bit. As you can see, we're, very, we're beginning the Manus fight. Nothing fun happened in the in the begin in the middle of the in the entire video and so i just decided you know what for the benefit of all so nobody has to sit through that shit let's just move along because I, I it's basically just the exploration the uh remaining part of the ulisile township which i just go through um there's not much more left of it than i think is it called the ulisile dungeon i believe and again nothing really happens right there it just takes me a while because it can take a while to get through there's a lot of enemies in there but the enemies aren't particularly interesting nothing really fun happened we just went through that got to manis and i started right here so i decided get rid of that video so um in here you'll see the parts there's like about a minute in is when uh the audio clips back in for like a minute and so when that start when that occurs i will be actually i should probably plug my headphones back in so we do not end up getting additional uh so we don't end up getting audio stacked on top of each other um so once that starts occurring i will shut up and obviously just let the audio speak for itself and then we're gonna just skip ahead because after i do the manis part i just go straight to ceaseless discharge to begin uh exploring the demon ruins and at the very end of the ceaseless discharge fight the audio clips back in and stays in there so once we get there so let me just go ahead and start this back up yeah once we get there i'll shut up you won't have to deal with me anymore you will no longer have to deal with uh this kind of recording hopefully pa, i'll be paying closer attention to what is occurring <laughs> cross my fucking fingers so anyway this is this opening scene when you fight manas very um intimidating obviously but i don't understand it like he has you smashed to the ground he has you at his mercy why does he not just destroy you in that moment that kind of stuff always bugs me and as you can see, look at that. There was an, another dude fighting him at the same time. Oh. I was risking a little bit to uh, manage to summon Sith right there. Oops, I didn't power within. Oh, shit. Oh, please don't get hit. Okay. I'm going to power within now. Okay, so did you hear that little staticky kind of thing? That was the audio clipping back out. I did not. I thought it happened a little bit later than that. Or oh, I just wasn't paying attention to time. So anyway, as you can see, I'm amazing at dodging. <laughs> <laughs> like I was dead there no matter what basically that final hit didn't manage to kill me completely but obviously power within drained me while I was getting up so let's go ahead and skip back boy this is the benefit to this you don't have to see me walking all the way back through here we can just get straight to the Manus fight and so uh, I think I talked to I didn't I don't know I can't remember if I talked about this Sif is basically useless in this fight, almost, because the majority of the time, if you have um, an NPC partner, they will draw away the aggro of the enemy. Like, if they hit the enemy, the boss, they will draw the aggro until, um, basically, you hit the boss again. However, Manus is unique in that, I don't know if this is a Sif only thing, but Manus is unique in that it is, it is possible for Sif to draw his aggro away. Sif isn't very aggressive, though. Um, but however, if you approach Manus in any way while, and that was stupid of me to try to do a second hit, if you approach Manus and get close within a certain amount of distance to him, regardless of whether or not you've taken a swing at him, if you've hit him, he will turn around and start attacking you instead of Sif. So you can't really count on Sif to hold the aggro, you have to account for that and be scurred appropriately. Also, Sif kind of, I mean, he doesn't really, he doesn't do, he's very tanky, and I suppose that's probably by design that he's just meant to survive the fight. And I'm, I'm not sure, because usually when you do co-op, it increases the boss's HP. I think it basically powers them up an extra level. How, like, you know, in New Game Plus, they're stronger. I think it powers them up like that. This was remarkably close. Look how fucking close that was. That was some scary shit. This is where Sif does come in useful. He can get you some free heal, some free heals when you're that far away. But as you can see, uh, man has kind of changed his aggro to me right there. Still can't believe that missed. Still can't believe that missed. Also, that attack, right? That's I think that's like the third or fourth time he's done that. That attack is very dangerous because. 
the entire string will juggle you. I don't know if it's possible for poise. I still have no idea how that didn't hit me. No clue, but I got lucky right there. Um, I'm not pos I'm not sure if it's possible to like poise through a hit in the middle of the juggle. I know it's possible to poise through the very first hit because it has happened to me before. But once you're in the juggle, as far as I'm aware, you are permanently in the juggle and I have never managed to survive that. I'm sure somebody with like high enough health and good enough armor can survive it. But uh I've never had a particularly like heavy tank kind of character. I prefer the lighter, faster style of combat. So anyway, there's Manus for ya. Let's go ahead and skip. Actually, it's really sad. Because this part right here. I thought. I thought. That I was remarkably amusing in this moment. <laughs> I was doing a little uh, thing where I was acting like I was picking up Dusk for our date. And those were her reactions to everything I was saying. But now nobody gets to hear it. And it's bullshit. Oh, we're skipping really far ahead here. Okay, because I did some upgrading of stuff. In the meantime, so let's just go ahead and move along, move along, move along to the meat of it. Because obviously you have to run, because um, with Ceaseless Discharge, his AI for some reason will stick to only doing one attack until you run all the way back here at where I am, where you originally get that, uh, that armor set. And once you get here, his AI will set itself to normal. I don't know why, it's, I don't know if it's intentional or what exactly is going on, but it's very weird. So let's just skip through all of that shit. To the meat of the fight and then like the moment the fight is over commentary starts back up again so i was not ready for that follow-up at all not at least i've never seen that attack before so i got blown up by it but it's okay because the dude has like a minute between each of his attacks <laughs> so it's not if you can survive one hit from him it's very unlikely that you will ever die just because there's so much time to heal in between his regular attacks. So anyway, we finish him off with the bow Ferris, and I am going to cease talking now because I will start talking now. <laughs> I thought he was about to do an attack and he was going to like counter hit me while I was shooting that arrow and I was going to die. That would have disappointed me. So yeah, we swung the pendulum the complete opposite direction on that one. We went from just not really having... I mean, I didn't have a completely terrible damage output the first time I ran through here. But it wasn't great either. And that time, it was just like, hey, let's kill him in two combos. Why not? It's fun for everybody, right? Alright, so anyway, let's check out this message. What you got to say? Well, I already did that. Thank you for nothing. Actually, what's the difference in weight? Two pounds versus six pounds? So technically, I could also wield some different shit here. But anyway, let's just go ahead and move right along. Let's just see what we do. Like, watch me do, like, 20 damage per hit to these fucking Taurus demons. And I'll end up dying to them all. I'll get swarmed and appropriately gangbanged for my... <laughs> for my daring to switch up my weaponry and not just continuing to use what I'm comfortable with. I wonder how good it might be though to like keep the just keep the dark silver tracer in your right hand and just switch to that. I mean, I'm sure people do. I know people do that. Uh, they like they have their normal weapon for just regular doing stuff that generally does a lot more damage for regular attacks, and then they'll switch out to something different if they get a parry or if they're fishing for a backstab, whichever. Because obviously, as you saw, there's different power levels for that kind of stuff. So I know certain swords, like I think the S-Stock is one of the best for getting backstabs. I should start a new video. I guess I should have been more on the ball there. Thank you for watching.